Welcome to the orientation videos that are associated with Unit 1 from Working with Health IT Systems. When we left off in Video 3, we were exploring the Notes feature. We are still using Patient 8, and I'm looking around and I'm dragging things to meet my own needs. And I'm going to see that there are many notes for this particular patient. Let's look. Here is a general medicine note. Here is an advanced directive. Here is a crisis note. Here is an audiology note. You get the gist here. So these are just notes. Again, we will learn how to work with these a little bit later in the term. Let's go down and look at the consults. Consults, again, very similar layout. You can see he's had three consults for hematology, audiology, and cardiology. For each one that you click on, of course, the note over here in all the white space is going to change. There's his cardiology note. Here's his audiology note, etc., etc. Again, you can order new procedures and new consults, but we're not doing that in this particular lesson. Let's look at surgery. You can see here, surgery case, December 8, 2006. He had a left inguinal hernia repair. If you click on this, as you see, there's a little plus sign. If you click here, you can see all of the notes that are associated with that surgical repair. Here's an operation report that the surgeon probably dictated and put an intraoperative report. And then also an anesthesia report. If we go down to discharge summary, you can see that he has a discharge summary dated March 25th. And again, you can just sort of look down and see the actual discharge summary associated with that particular visit and discharge. The Labs tab. You really should explore a bit in the Labs tab. It's quite interesting, actually. Just go in here and poke around. But I would suggest you choose all tests by date. And when you choose all tests by date, there's a date range. Because maybe you only want to see the last week. Maybe you only want to see the last month, or maybe you want to look back two years. So it depends. If I click today, there are no results. One week, no results. Two weeks, no results. One month? Nope. How about six months? Yeah, there we go. It's been a while since he's had any lab work done. And of course, you scroll up and down, or you can go back two years and see everything that he has. We will get into the lab results world in upcoming units. Let's look finally at the Reports tab. If I click on the Report tab, you'll see there are some available, or what we call canned reports. And there is also the possibility for you to help your user, or for a super user to be able to construct their own report. This is a very nice feature. I find personally that it's missing in a lot of EHRs that are available, at least today, on the market. It's very difficult. You can put a date in, but getting it back out is a real challenge. And as a clinician, I know that I would find this very, very beneficial. Because I want to be able to quickly pull up some clinical reports. So if I click Clinical Reports, let's say I want a report of his vital signs. It comes up. Here's the vital signs and the default is T-7 to today. That's today, back seven days. Let's choose one month back and hopefully I'll get some data. Or maybe he doesn't have any for one month back. One year back. Ah, here we go. So it's been a while since he's had vitals. Health summary is where the ad hoc reports come in, and we'll talk about those soon.